So what were your um, impressions of the, the venue so far in the course? I think, I mean, I came here in 2004, 2005, when they were talking about having the Pan Am Games here. And it was a raw site. I mean, it's a military venue. And Etaidi Pereira, who's the, the equestrian manager here, met me and took me up to, to the top of the hill overlooking the cross-country course where it is now. And so we wanted to do a cross-country course here. Well, it was all bush, it was all scrubland, you couldn't see a damn thing, you couldn't see the shape of the ground, and something, a bit of a walk ground, there were horse tracks, and, but it essentially was all overgrown and horrendous. And so, um, and then, then I couldn't do the Pan American Games for various reasons, so I sort of just got stuck in doing it with other commitments. And I heard that um, the course of the Pan Am Games had transformed the site you know, quite, quite a lot. And so I thought, well, that's great, knowing what it was like beforehand. And then coming here and, and seeing what they've done, I mean, you know, good on them. I mean, it's fantastic what they've done here. It's um, a complete transformation. I think, let's talk about the overall venue to start with. The overall venue is going to be very horse friendly, very rider friendly, and very user friendly. Um, you know, it's a bit of an oasis really in, in the city, in the north of the city. But it's it, it's good. They've done a really, really good job in, in the layout, in terms of the venue design and the flow. And uh, um, as with any Olympic venue, there are all sorts of challenges to it. But I mean, full, no, full marks. I mean, really, really good. I'm very, very impressed. On the cross country side of things, um, well, of course, I mean, there's still more to do. You know, talk months out and. You know, before we talk about the cross country, you know, there's sort of the, the stabling areas, you know, they've got masses to do there, but you know, they've explained what they're going to be doing, how they're going to be doing it. And so, I mean, the construction side of things, it all just seems, you know, I'm sure they'll get it all done, it should be really, really good. Mm -hmm. Cross country side of things, again, we'll walk, we'll walk around the course a couple of times, seen the, the cross country today for the test event, and I think that what Pierre and his team have done is, is create a, a course that has a lovely flow to it, a lovely feel to it. Tour is well, that's the easy bit in a funny sort of way in terms of designing and then us people like me of course designers and we just come on and mess it all up by putting jumps in it. but it's I think it has a really good feel to it and, and the ground which is the footing which is the most important thing it's a really really good start and uh, again very impressive there's a ribbon of green through the, the place and you know the foundations are there okay there's a lot of work to do to be done between now and and next year but, but, but what's been done so far is superb. You know, now they've just got to maintain it, which I'm sure they will, and maintain the, the progress and the program and keep developing it. And I think, you know, if that all happens, I mean, the footing is going to be superb. Um, it's not an easy climate, as we know, and you know, there are all sorts of challenges. But but it looks really, really good at the moment. And if I was the organising committee here, I think fantastic. You know, it's been a really good test. Um, you know, we've got the, the foundations in place, now we can really press the go button with a lot of confidence um, going towards next year. So, well, I think it's really good. And obviously we've looked at the training areas, which you know, have been in development still. There's one training area that's done and, and the other training areas have been developed. And the footing in the main arena, they're, all, they're learning all about, you know, it needs a little bit more water, but I mean, that's just a water management issue. So, you know, the footing in the main arena should be really, really good as well. And the flow for the horses, I just think, you know, if I was, the, the organising committee here at Aedia, I'd be saying, yep, yeah, you know, that's gone well. Mm. You know, we're, we're on track, now we just need to keep the momentum and mm. keep the programme in place. Mm. Yes, uh, very good. Well, um, uh, one thing I noticed so I was out um, uh, running around the course, and it looks like there, looks like the next year's course will have a bit more terrain than um, today's course did. It looks like they're taking a little higher up the hill. and. Um, and uh, do you know what other sort of, uh, what else we can expect um, that um, might be different from what we saw today? Well obviously it's going to be longer. Um, you know, we walk what we believe to be done, it's very kindly put up where the route's going to be for next year and you can actually work it out. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to work out where the course is going to go. So we walk that and, you know, there's a hill early on in the, in the, in the course which, you know, you can get out of the way while your horses are fit. It's, it's a compact venue um, and to get 11 minutes on a cross-country course is, you know, it's not that easy. Um, but, you know, he's managed to achieve that with a really good flow and really good feel to it. I don't know what fences he'll have. All the course designers have their own signature, so we, we can have a pretty good idea as to what we're going to see out there next year. <coughs> and I think anyway, he's, he's got the canvas to do an awful lot of things. And 
you know, getting the canvas right in the first place is often a big challenge because you're making a commitment quite a long way out. And, and then you can get down to you know, your actual fences and again, one of the challenges, you have to lock down on your designs early on in the piece and the sport then moves on over the, the subsequent couple of years. As it sadly gets better, but you're, you're locked into what you've got. There are always things you can do better. I mean, Pierre will be thinking, damn, why didn't I do this or why didn't I do that? But he, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a good course designer. He'll have a really good plan there. And I think, as I say, the foundations are really good there. There is a bit more terrain. He's used the terrain well. Um, it's perfectly fair. I mean, look at the weather here this week. You know, it's got up to 30 degrees. Well, that's not too bad. And the humidity has varied between 40 and, and 60. Um, you know, 60 earlier in the morning, and when the temperature was low, as the temperature's gone up a bit, you know, the humidity's dropped. But I, as I understand it, this is exceptional weather. You know, it's sort of nine or ten degrees higher than normal for this time of year. Um, but it's not, and it shouldn't be an issue. Um, you know, it goes nowhere near what, what's called a wet bulb low index. I can't even say that properly. Um, so I mean, this is not threatening that, but. You know, it seems from what I picked up that actually, you know, if, if there is extreme weather, there, you know, as, as always with planning these things, that you can cut out a loop to shorten the course or whatever. And, uh, so I think, yeah, there's terrain, it's fair, there will be a, quite a lot of gear changes um, when you're riding around, you know. So, and <coughs> he always tries to design them not to put too many gear changes in, because it just tires the horse. And you've got to be very careful of the mental, the mental effects, or, the head, or, or what the course does to horses mentally as well. Uh, but no, I think it's great because there's going to be really good viewing for the spectators who come here. I think you will get some great television shots, um, and I think you know you can see a lot of fences from you know just a few vantage points. Uh, you don't have to walk miles to see quite a lot. So, touch wood, it should be good. <laughs>